Euclid's axioms. In this module, you will learn about Euclid's axioms. Consider the statement, the sun rises in the east. This statement is an obvious universal truth. You accept it without questions or proof. An assumption which you accept without proof is called an axiom. An axiom should be consistent and complete. Axioms are also known as common notions which refer to magnitudes of various kinds. Euclid proposed several axioms. To understand his first axiom, consider a measuring cylinder containing 100 milliliters of water. If you pour this water from the measuring cylinder into a conical flask and refill the measuring cylinder with another 100 milliliters of water and pour this water into a beaker, then the volume of water in the conical flask and beaker remains the same. This example helps to understand Euclid's first axiom which states that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. Consider two bags of equal weight. If all bottles of the same weight are added to both the bags, the beam remains balanced showing that the weight is still equal on both sides. This helps to understand Euclid's next axiom. It states that if equals are added to equals, then the holes are also equal. In contrast, if all bottles of the same weight are removed from either side of the beam, the beam remains balanced, showing that the weight is still equal on both the sides. This helps to derive the next axiom. If equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are also equal. Now consider two circles of equal radii. As the circles have same radii, they coincide with each other and are equal to one another. Looking at this example, you can say, things that coincide with one another are equal to one another, which is another axiom proposed by Euclid. You can see that four quadrants of a circle together form a whole. The four quadrants are the four parts of a circle and each of these parts is smaller in size as compared to the whole circle. This example helps you state Euclid's next axiom, the whole is always greater than the part. Now consider a right triangle. If you double its area along its hypotenuse, you get a rectangle. In contrast, if you double its area along its altitude, you get an acute triangle. Although the doubles of the same area have different shapes, the areas of the rectangle and the acute triangle are equal. This helps to state Euclid's next axiom, things which are double of the same thing are equal to one another. Consider a circle. If you divide it by folding it along its vertical diameter, you obtain a semicircle. Similarly, 
If you divide it by folding it along its horizontal diameter, you again get a semicircle. Although the obtained half circles appear to be different, they are the same. This helps to conclude that things which are half of the same thing are equal to one another which is another axiom by Euclid. In this module you've learned that an axiom is an assumption which you accept without proof. Things which are equal to the same thing are equal to one another. If equals are added to equals, then the wholes are also equal. If equals are subtracted from equals, then the remainders are also equal. Things that coincide with one another are equal to one another. The whole is always greater than the part. Things which are double of the same things are equal to one another. Things which are halves of the same things are equal to one another.